The trial for three men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer has begun. It's our top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. And I'm Sherry Jones. This is the third trial connected to the plot, and this time three men face charges. But unlike the first two trials, which were in federal court, this one's taking place in a state court. In fact, it's happening right here in mid-Michigan in Jackson County. Nate Salazar listened in on the opening statements, and he's here for you now with more on day one. Well, Sherry and Lauren, after two days of jury selection, Assistant Attorney General Bill Rolston began making his case this morning. They sought out terrorists. They found them. They gave him training. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're here today. Trial kicked off this morning at the Jackson Fourth Circuit Court, where Paul Beller, Pete Musico, and Joseph Morrison faced charges for three crimes, including providing material support for terrorist plots against Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The prosecution argued the three men were involved in a gang called the Wolverine Watchmen and were responsible for using firearms to train Adam Fox, who was convicted of federal charges of kidnapping conspiracy in August. Everybody in the Wolverine Watchmen shared a very common ideology and that they hated our government, they wanted to kill law enforcement police officers, and that the gang gave them the motive, means, and opportunity to train Adam Fox knowing that he was going to commit an act of terrorism. Each defense attorney laid out their case, questioning their defendant's relation to Adam Fox, claiming the group was not considered a gang and that the prosecution would fail to prove much beyond a reasonable doubt. If you find that Paul did not materially contribute to a terrorist act, everything else falls like dominoes. You have no gang because a gang requires you to break the law. So you've got no breaking of the law, and the felony firearm requires you to break the law while you're possessing a firearm. So everything rises and falls on the very first one. Side provided videos, images, and other evidence that had been collected from police. Testimony is underway. We will keep you updated on this high-profile case in the coming days. Sherry and Lauren. Thank you, Nate. Well, Michigan